Hey guys, right here. So today we're going to be doing ranking all nine seasons of Walking Dead. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not including the 10th season because it hasn't finished. There's still one episode left and who knows when that's coming. That literally could be October, November. Like we really don't know at this point. They said it's probably going to be in the fourth quarter of the year though. So which really sucks, but I mean, I kind of expected it. I well, I didn't expect it to be that late. That seems like really late. I was expecting july at the earliest maybe august at the latest i wasn't expecting october that seems like it's basically us waiting for a whole other season and we're not we're getting one episode and at that point they'll probably film start filming season 11 if that's when they can actually start producing episodes again so that really sucks if that's what it takes but if that is what it takes for us to actually be able to get it because people were saying that they're going to cancel the show because everything is shut down and they're not making money that is so wrong. They've already renewed season 11. It's happening, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they can just cancel stuff out of the blue. They probably can. They probably have that power. I'm assuming they can. But anyways, so one other thing I wanted to mention is that I'm now doing reactions. Um, right now, I'm doing the 100 Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is at 10 a.m. The time may vary depending on how long it takes me to edit them because they take me like four hours to edit and upload and get them up on Patreon first and everything, but I usually have, I'm, I've been doing good, um, I have been doing the Clone Wars as well, but a lot of people tell me I should do the Mandalorian instead, which I'm open to because that's more of an actual show, it's not an animated, it's like the Clone Wars is an animated show, so I understand, and I feel like I would like the Mandalorian better, and I've, everyone praises it, so I'm definitely open to doing it, but let me know in the comments, Mandalorian or Clone Wars, so. And the, Man the Clone Wars is really difficult to get because there was only eight episodes on Disney Plus of each season. It's not an entire season, so I don't know what I would do when I reach episode nine. But anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, so coming in at number nine, my least favorite season, I know this. some people may disagree, I don't know, is season one. It was only six episodes. It, there weren't any amazing stories like there were in like all the other seasons. Obviously, every season of this show is absolutely incredible. This is the first one, so this is what got me hooked. So keep that in mind. I don't dislike this season at all. I absolutely love it. I love every episode of Walking Dead. Um, there's literally no way I could ever hate the show. It's just I'm too connected to the characters. In season one, it, just because I, it's at the bottom doesn't mean anything. It's just my least favorite season because there's not as much story Every other season has 10, other, 10 more episodes of story. You're like, it, you don't feel as connected when you first start watching it, but after you've watched every season and you're so connected to the characters and you watch it again and you're like really connected, but it's just, there's not as much story. There's not as much going on. They had a smaller budget because it was the first season. So that's why season one comes in at first place there. It's not as good as the other seasons, but it still is a mass. It's amazing. So so coming in at number eight is season eight. I have nothing against this season. I rewatched it and I absolutely loved it. The only thing I don't like is that Carl was killed off because there's rumors out there and there's people that are skeptical that that led to Rick and Michonne leaving. Now, obviously, each of them have their own reasons of Michonne wanting to go and pursue other things or deny, not Michonne, going to want to pursue other things in her career, um, writing and things like that, and then Andrew wanted to spend time with his family, but there's rumors that, or there's purely, like, interviews or whatever that have come out and said that Carl being killed off led to Rick leaving, and that led to Andrew wanting to officially leave, that he'd always had, since, like, season four, he's wanted to leave, but because he wanted to be with his family, but Carl really, like, made it start rolling, the ball started rolling after that, but I don't know if that's true at all. That's just something I've heard. It's kind of interesting, but um, yeah, anyway, so season eight. I love season eight. Um, the last episode, the finale is really good. The first episode, the first few episodes are just so action packed. It's crazy. Um, and then like in between, there's a lot of action in this season and you can't even deny that. Some of the storytelling, some of the storytelling is not people's favorites. I personally don't have a problem since I've rewatched it. I think it really just begs the, the fact that when you're watching it week to week and you really just want to see stuff happen, it feels like nothing's happening, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know, because stuff is always happening. Like, the back half, it, there was a lot of stuff going on all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong, this season really did have its moments, whether you guys liked it or not. 
I can understand where people come in and say they don't like it, but I feel like when Carl got killed off, everybody just sort of jumped on a rampage and was like, this is the worst season ever because maybe the, ro the writing was a little rocky in the first half and then they did this big thing and everybody hated it. So then they just all of a sudden said that the entire season was trash because one big thing that they hated. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining this good enough, but when like something happened, like you like it sort of, but then something happens and it's like, eh, that was okay. Or, and then all of a sudden something really big happens that you don't like and you just all of a sudden just say the entire thing is bad. I, I, I don't know. But I personally don't have a problem with this season. I think it's good. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to rewatch. I want to do an entire rewatch of the entire series, but I have to find time to do that in place of my, me now having an actual schedule that I'm going by where I upload videos every single day. So at 10 AM, so definitely keep an eye out on the channel. Cause I'm, that's my plan right now. I have a schedule. I've been writing out videos that I'm doing every single day. I have it all planned out. So stay tuned if you want to see that. But anyways, on to my number seven. So coming in at number seven is season seven. Season seven had some of the best episodes ever of the series. The first premiere, the first episode, the premiere is by far the most gruesome episode of the series. It's so like, it's all mind games. It's so, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so twisted. It's so, it makes it so good. Um, cause you've never seen our characters like that. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, and I think they did it right. Um, and then you had episode four, which was just so like, you just had all the characters broken and Negan coming and it's just straight from the comics and it's so good. In episode two as well, when you get the opening scene, you have like them fighting the walkers and stuff. And you have some amazing kills where she rides by and cuts the front of the face off. That was a sick kill. And then you have... Ezekiel and Shiva and the kingdom that's crazy that was so good and then you have so much comic stuff from seven from episode seven and eight there's so much comic material on that from Spencer's death seven eight and nine are amazing episodes like there's no question about it those episodes are amazing episode 15 and 16 are really good episode 14 had a really good moment episode 13 is just amazing I love that episode so much Season 7 really had some good episodes, whether you want to admit it or not. For some, I know some people hate this more than Season 8, but I personally love this season, honestly. I could watch it anytime. I could watch any season anytime, but again, I love Season 7, so now I'm to my number 6. So coming in at number 6 is Season 4. Season 4, I really, really enjoyed the first 5 episodes or something so different because you just, you pick up, or you leave off the governor arc in Season 3, and then you just, it's like forgotten about and it's it's that's good writing in my opinion because you don't just immediately jump back into the governor arc after he went AWOL you you introduce a new story of the sickness and the walkers breaking the fence and everything and someone's feeding the the walkers and someone killed Karen and David there's a lot of mystery it's really good and then the governor returns after everything after they finally beat the illness Glenn's fine then all of a sudden the governor comes back and then you have this huge just battle for Episode A is really good, and then the season, the second half is everybody split up, and you get some really, um, really good character building, and then you just have this riveting episode of episode fourteen, where Carol kills Liz, kills Lizzie after Lizzie killed Mika, so that episode that episode is so good. Um, so many episodes of The Walking Dead are just straight masterpieces. I don't, man, and then you have the finale, which I absolutely love the finale. Um, cause we meet the, we meet Terminus and then you have Rick killing Joe by biting his throat out. Um, really gruesome, really messed up, but this season is really good. Um, and yeah, so coming in at number four is season three. Season three, some people really don't like this season. Um, I don't have any problems with it. I personally love it. This, this season is the true governor season. Like there's a lot of horror, especially in episode 14 when he's chasing her through like that building or whatever with the shovel and the breaking of glass and everything that was a really creepy episode that was the one episode I was watching with my brother and he had to go upstairs because it was really creeping him out so and he's older than me but anyways so when it all sort of leads up and then you have them going to get Glenn and Maggie and then the governor retaliates and kills Axel and attacks the prison and then a Again, in episode 16, so, my dog's barking, one sec, okay, and you have the finale where 
the governor attacks the prison again, and then they go to Woodbury and take in all those people, and Andrew dies. Another very controversial death. Well, it's not very, it's not controversial at all. It's just straight up bad. They shouldn't have done that. If sh She should still be on the show. She, If we're being honest and we're following the comics, she would be dying in the season 10 finale, so I don't know if that would be the best, but... Or if that'd be very exciting, I wouldn't be exciting to see Andrea go, but we would have gotten seven more seasons with her, so that would have been great if they would have done that, and they definitely could have because she's straight from the comics. It's easy to come up with a story for her. Well, the way I would have liked it is they would have switched her and Michonne's story. Michonne would have still ended up with Rick, and Andrea would have taken Michonne's story from the comics because in the show, I don't know if, I don't know if it was in the comics. I don't think it was, but Andrea was a lawyer before, or she was at law school or whatever. And that's what Michonne was in the comics. So it, it looked like they were already setting that up, but I don't know for sure or not. So yeah, that's my number four. I meant number five, by the way. But anyways, so coming in at number four is season two. I love season two so much. I think that there's so many good episodes. It has episode seven, 11, 12, and 13 are all really good. Those are like the highlights of the season. But every episode is so good. It's like a mystery of where did Sophia go? Carl gets shot. Shane is going down a crazy train. Lori's pregnant. I love this season. God, I miss some of those characters a lot. But, yeah, season two was really good in my opinion. And I'm sad that it, some of those characters aren't here anymore. That should be, like, Andrea. Again, she should still be here. But what can you do? I mean, that happened so long ago. But, yeah, I love season two. There's a lot that happens. And, yeah, so let's go to my number three. So coming in at number three is season five. The first episode of season five, the second and the third are really good. They're like creepy mysteries. And then episode three is just when it all goes down. And uh, Well, no, episode two and is more like a creepy mystery. But episode one is I'm breaking out of terms. is one of the best episodes of the series. Episode three is one of the best episodes of the series. The back half when they get to Alexandria, straight from the comics again. So that's always just really fun to see. But... And then you have, like, this stuff with the hospital and Beth. Some people really didn't like it. I didn't have too big of a problem with it. I just think they shouldn't have had it shown so much. Like, we didn't need an entire episode with Beth at all. That was very unnecessary. Um, but I kind of like how everything was interwoven. And at the end of episode four, you see Carol taken in. And then we don't find out how that happened until episode six. And it's just, like, all an interwoven mystery that all makes sense after it ends. So, yeah, I love season five. So coming in at number two is season six. Season six is an amazing season. A lot of people do like this season. It's a lot of people's top favorites. But season six is just nonstop amazing storytelling where it starts off, they're dealing with the herd and everything. There's some stuff with Carl and Ron, Rick and Jesse, that sort of drama there and Enid and everything. But the horde is the main focus and it leads to the no way out part from the comics, which is amazing. And then we get the saviors and then we get like that little battle in episode 12 and the stuff with Maggie finding out she's pregnant, Glenn dying and then Glenn almost dying again in episode nine. Um, yeah, I love this season so much. There's never a dull moment. We meet the hilltop. Um, we sort of meet the kingdom at the end and then we end up meeting Negan at the end and then we have the lineup and the cliffhanger. Which a lot of people hate it, but that's just TV. A lot of TV shows do big cliffhangers like that. I mean, it's the same as, like, Jon Snow be getting stabbed and then... It's not the same. No, it's really not. But anyways, a lot of people do cliffhangers like that. Um, it's just to keep you intrigued and want to watch the next season. But, yeah. So now looking back on it, it wasn't that bad. But when it first happened, I literally didn't know what to do. This is my, like, first time watching the season all the way through live. So I was like... Do they release a, a teaser for season seven or something? Because I don't know how I'm going to be able to wait. And then I found out that you don't get anything at all until July. So it's kind of a rough wait for my first year. But yeah, so I love season six. But coming in at number one, you guys all know it. This is the best season, no question. Season nine. Oh my goodness. So the first five episodes are their own little mini story, which I love. It's the story of Rick building a bridge and then him leaving and everything and Jadis being interwoven into his exit and taking him away to be saved is just amazing and then the back half we have the six or I guess not the back half but episode six we have a six year time jump well I guess it actually is in episode five and we get introduced to Judah I cannot watch that scene without getting goosebumps and then we get the whispers the best one of the best villains I can never decide between the whispers and the governor I don't know but anyways so 
alpha and beta and all that and then we get the pike scene we get the really cool really good like really well done in the show as well well no because it's strictly to the show it's original material where michonne and daryl have the x cars and the children and everything it's all straight original to the show and that's amazing um there daryl versus beta original to the show which is really really good um I don't even know. Season 9 is so good. There's so much with the saviors, the mystery of Oceanside, of who's killing the saviors, and it's all because Maggie hung Gregory, so that's amazing. Um, and then I also want to do a little thing for Patreon, so you guys can watch all the reactions and everything over there. You actually get more content over there, but um, anyways, so, but you do have to pay. You have to pay, you can pay $1 to $15, um, but anyways... So I just want to give a little shout out to Katie and Eileen. Those are my two first Patreons. I'm really good friends with them over on Discord. We met through Dual Reacts um, Patreon page through onto Discord or whatever. So they're really nice. They're my first Patreon. So huge shout out to them for um, doing that. But yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your guys' favorite season down below. And I'll see you guys next time.